Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two minute vocal tip. This week we're going to work on pitch. Pitch is how high you go and how low you go. We're going to help stretch your pitch range from a high level to a low level and vice versa using again two nursery rhymes. And I should um, just remind you that before you do any of these exercises to warm your your voice up a little bit by humming mm, and down and there are various other exercises you can do to warm your voice up. The other thing is to make sure that your posture is erect. It's good posture, your, uh, your, your hips are forward, your, your diaphragm is free to be able to do the work that it needs to. Your chin, or in some cases chins, are parallel with the floor. Your head is as if there's a string coming out through the top. Your shoulders are back and down, your rib cage is open. Oy vey, that's a lot to remember. But good posture, if you've been practicing what Mama's told you, then you should be able to do it just fine. Now the first one we're going to do is Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's it's easy because everybody knows it. Um, what I want you to think about too is moving the sound right up through the top of your head. Um, imagine that you've won the lottery, okay? So you have a great big smile, your face is opened up nice and big, your cheekbones are lifted, everything's up like it should be, which will help you to get that voice up. And if you need to stand on your toes to do it, then do it, whatever it takes. Remember, bringing a cartoon-like uh, character into into your voice exercises in stretching your voice is going to help you to achieve that. That's what all actors do. Oh, and here's a couple of characters that might help. If you think about Tinkerbell or Jiminy Cricket or characters like that, they will help to just get you up there and just get you thinking that way and it helps the voice. Remember the voice and the head are connected. So what you think oftentimes comes through your voice. And our voice along with our hair are two things that, are, that absolutely feed or destroy our self-esteem. Think about it, how many times do people not want to hear their voice recorded? Or they don't want to see a picture of themselves? It's because you need to put, bring character into what you're doing, really act it out, give it your all, and it'll make a big difference. So bring your eyebrows up, your cheekbones up, and uh, your eye sockets, like they're just like big, 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 big. So even as I'm doing this, you can hear the pitch in my voice rising as a result of thinking uh, of a character. Okay, so we're gonna do Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'll demonstrate first, and then we'll do it together. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Now notice I'm, I'm emphasizing every vowel, consonant, and diphthong. Remember, every letter in every word gets its full and intended value. Okay, try that with me now. Ready, and Eyebrows up, cheekbones up, standing erect, and... Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Now that you're feeling a little foolish, now's the time to go play with the kids if you have any of your grandkids to play with because you're animated and you're up. When you're doing these exercises as animated as you can be, you will get the full force of the exercise. And remember, three to five times a day, every day for a good 20 or 30 days, you're going to substantially improve your voice so that you will have the voice of your choice. See you next time.